Look at that. We're headed right now to camp. Beckler campground. Okay, so hey. It is 8.45 at night. I worked 12 hours up in Federal Way and then Rachel packed up the truck in the truck bed tent. And uh, as soon as I got home from work, we jumped in the truck and we we're headed up to the Beckler campground. Hopefully. And we're gonna get up early tomorrow and hike Blanca Lake and uh, take you along for the ride, Cameron. <laughs> All right, we are just pulling up to the Beckler campground here. If you can quite see much and we're gonna look around and figure out if there's anywhere for us to camp for the night okay so we were able to find a camping spot at the Beckler campground uh, we got in here pretty late about 10 30 or 11 and uh, we set up camp which we just finished breaking down and uh, slept for a little bit it's about 6 30 now or 7 and uh, we're gonna hit the road and try to uh, head up and find the Blanca Lake hike all right we're driving up forest road 6520 up to polka lake and uh well, i guess that's all i have to say about that okay so it turns out the road to the blanca lake trailhead is closed due to a washout yeah, that's the good news. We don't have to have our Northwest Forest Pass. Even though we have an annual pass we just forgot to bring. But, uh, here we go. Two, only two miles. Okay. Oh, two miles. Okay, not bad. So, just tax on an extra four miles to our hike. Not too bad. Um, hopefully nobody breaks into our car and steals all of our things. <laughs> I guess it's not that much stuff. Our sweet, sweet camping stuff. Here we go. Rachel, how are you feeling this morning? Oh, pretty, pretty good. Good, all right. Me Legs too. are a little sore. Yeah, oh yeah, Rachel hiked yesterday while I was at work for 12 hours. So, this is where the road is washed out, and uh, we just talked to the construction worker, and he said that this got washed out in 2016 and the road up to the trailhead has been closed ever since and uh they just started work two days ago to clear it so now we're kind of walking up this river bed to get around all the heavy machinery and then uh he said we should be in the clear after that you know, that is quite a washout Whew. Uh. Ooh. All right, and uh, the guy said the Forest Service is probably coming up later today to cut a path for hikers to use, but they just haven't made it up here yet. So this is what we got for now. Okay, so this is the other side of that. Look at that, that is crazy. And we're back on the road now with these two other hikers, Jack and Jeff. That's what we named them. Sure. This is very cool. This part's all been washed out too and Back there you can see the metal culverts that have just been torn up and uh, moved probably in another slide. And it looks like we are just about to the Blanca Lake Trailhead, so that's cool. All right, so we just got to the trailhead. Parking lot's empty, crazy. <laughs> So 
So you see here, three and a half miles one way and about 2,100 feet of climbing. Difficulty? Most difficult. What do you think, Rachel? You think that's going to be accurate? Yeah, we'll see. I don't think so. No. <laughs> the things we've been through, <laughs> I don't think it's going to be the most difficult. No. But, uh, all right. Food and odors attract bears. Plenty. Good thing we have plenty of brownies to feed them. <laughs> Essential <laughs> navigation. Uh, Nikkei, no. Sun protection, no. Oh, I brought Insulation, sunscreen. no. I have an extra shirt, but that's it. Illumination, check. First aid supplies plus insect repellent, no. Fire, no. Repair kit and tools, no. Nutrition, check. Hydration, check. Emergency shelter, nope. <laughs> so, we're like three out of 10. I'm gonna say that's not bad. Not passing. <laughs> not pa you're right, that's not a passing grade. So we are about a half mile into the climb. Um, is it three and a half miles? About a half mile to three and a half miles uh, climbing up to Blanca Lake. And Rachel and I have just been having such a cool conversation. And it started with talking about uh, the Mountain Outpost show that talked about the cheating runner who ended up committing suicide recently. And then Rachel brought up a cool point talking about an article she had just seen where it talked about Harrison Ford was fired from like a, a car sales company at age 30 or 40 and he wasn't successful at all. And Oprah was fired from some job when she was 30 and was not successful at all. I don't know if those dates and, or times are accurate. Yeah, it, you know, we're just talking generalities here. But what a cool concept that uh, wherever you're at right now and whatever you've failed to do or failed to accomplish doesn't dictate where you're headed. Uh, I think that's a really cool way to live. Um, and part of it was spurred by talking about Chris Mako's recent post about Western States. And it was a simple thing, but he was shopping at Costco and found the Love Crunch. It's like a chocolate uh, granola thing. And he put it back and he said, a uh, quote I've heard in the past from coaches, that um, he put the crunch back saying, is buying this chocolate granola what a Western States champion would do? And he had to answer no, so he put it back. And I thought, yeah, that's the way I want to live my life. Like whatever it is I'm trying to accomplish, whatever goal I have, every day I ask myself, is this going to take me there? I think that's really cool. And I want to finish the thought about the runner that recently killed himself when he was caught cheating in all the marathons. I think where I was headed with that is that I think sometimes our society puts too much of a premium on winning and we don't necessarily always focus enough or celebrate enough the normal people doing extraordinary things. And I think that can lead to liars, cheaters, dopers, because we've put such a premium on winning. And uh, maybe we need to celebrate more just the accomplishments of regular people. All right, that's it. I'll get off my soapbox. Just gonna film this real quick. Look at that. So, we are about two miles into our hike up the Blanca Lake Trail now. It's getting pretty warm out here. And the scenery's beautiful. And crazy peaceful because besides those two hikers, Jeff and Jack, is that what we're mm -hmm. called? Jeff and Jack, uh, we're the only two people out here, so it's just crazy peaceful. Four miles on there? Yeah, it is. Nice. Ooh, that's a big step up. Yeah. I love that we can I'll hike this one today. Yeah, me too. This is super cool. All right, so I'm being harassed by a horse fly. So I'm just gonna put the camera next to my head for a second. 
See if you can hear it. Of course, of course nothing. Oh, these horse flies. Oh, they know just how to get you. They know exactly how to push my buttons. Okay, well, anyway, it looks like we're coming up to about the top of this climb. Here's what we're looking at. Okay. <laughs> Attempt to capture footage of the asshole for horsefly one more time. Okay, we made it to the top of the climb. We're about three miles into the hike up, uh, five miles into our hike overall. Uh, because we are still being harassed pretty relentlessly by horse flies. My favorite part of every hike. And I think we're gonna head down to the lake now. It's a beautiful day, Rich. It is. Okay, so we were slightly off and we've been climbing for another quarter mile or so. Um, but the views are starting to get pretty spectacular. So we just, uh, I think we're at the top of our climbing now. It's, uh, let's see here. So now we're at um, three, three and a half miles, which is supposed to be how far it is to Blanca Lake. And we came up to this, uh, uh, what would you call this? Hmm. Grassy landing? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> we came up to this uh, grassy knoll. <laughs> kind of makes me think of JFK, but whatever. And uh, we're both just stunned at how beautiful it is, how vivid the color is. Okay, so it looks to me like we're here. Blanca Lake. Ay, ay, ay. It says we're way off trail. Look at that. That is really strange. Someone must have put that in there. How would you do that? You couldn't just put that in there, Rach. Think about how heavy that is. Boy, that's weird. Here I am, just waiting on a girl. You know, Rachel, I don't think this is Blanca Lake. Kind of just an ugly little pond, and the water's not really blue like we expected it to be. Okay, um, so I think we're gonna call this Blanca Pond. <laughs> Let's keep searching. So, rough to back up. <laughs> <laughs> so we are now descending down to the real Blanca Lake. I hope. And after I said. I don't think that's the real Blanca Lake back there. Rachel said, of course it's not. I said, didn't you say it was Blanca Lake? And she said, I'm screwing with you. Fantastic. Did you not look this trail up? No, I didn't look this trail up at all. I looked up the picture of Blanca Lake. And um, when you look up the pictures of Blanca Lake, you see all the Instagram pictures of half naked girls standing picturesquely on uh, logs on the lake. So that's really all I know of Blanca Lake. Half naked girls. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa. Oh, that looks so much nicer than that pond. Okay. All right, it is worth it. It is worth it, I've decided. I was beginning to question whether or not uh, all this hiking up and down was worth that small, ugly pond we saw back there. I 
give you Blanca Lake. Okay, so we're hiking around Blanca Lake now, and we're going to try to get down to the water and uh, maybe go for a swim. You can hear maybe a waterfall just off to our right. Looks like there's some other adventurous souls who are gonna go for a swim here. Looks like they brought towels, which we did not, uh, we neglected to do that. It looks like y'all lost somebody. It's really cool how you can see the water just starting to move quicker and quicker. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah, very cool. Oh, very cool. Look at that! It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do it. You wild man. Good job, Mikey. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> Woo! Oh, well, Rachel is willing to try to save the bee. And Rachel, it's gonna sting you, baby. You're gonna get stung. This is a honeybee. I don't what kind of bee it is. It's gonna sting you. Rachel is saving a bee's life. She's going to get a big sting for it. Oh my god. You you did it. Oh. Oh, poor god. You freaking you may have saved that bee's life. I don't want him to fall back in. It's amazing. Come on, girls. Get in. Okay, so we had a blast and now we're leaving Blanca Lake and we're going to uh, do this like half mile, three quarter mile big hike up and then do the uh, long downhill. Here we go. We're still coming up the climb from Blanca Lake and it's, uh, it's, it's pretty steep. Yeah, Rachel said, uh oh, we're back to the Stairmaster. Whew. Like coming down either. Oh, coming down was hard enough. Whew. Like, whew. even the trees had a hard time going straight up. Yeah, 
that, so I'm just gonna record this uh, Thor back to uh, Blanca Pond, as it were. You can almost hear the mosquitoes breeding. Oh yeah, look at the little froggy. Rachel and I decided we're going to go ahead and skip swimming in this one. Alright, we're about two miles into the return trip. We're moving pretty quick. Actually, no, we're moving about the same pace because it's crazy steep downhill, so you can't really run most of it. But uh, it's beautiful. And super glad the clouds came out because it would have been crazy hot. Rachel, how you doing? Awesome. Good. This has been amazing. <laughs> what? That tree branch grabbed my foot. It reached out and bit me. <laughs> All right, we are three miles into our return trip and we're just cruising. Everything is really nice. There's not much of a view in this area. But uh, we're enjoying it. How you doing, Rach? Pretty good. I haven't Pretty broken good. my ankle yet. Yeah, well, she, she's rolled her ankle like three or four times now. <laughs> but uh, she's still going. So, awesome job. All right. We're coming back to the trailhead. Uh, what time is it? Oh, three o'clock. Oh my god. Well, this has been quite a day. This has been an amazing hike. That's been awesome. And uh, we still have the two miles uh, back to the truck from here. Easy. Look at that. All right. Well, so Blanca oh. Lake's at 39.72, but we went up to like 40. We were up at 45. And there's Virgin Lake. We were up. Because block like you went down to. Oh bit. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Most difficult. Most difficult. Indeed. Ah. Oh, yes, and at long last we've returned to the truck. Super happy to be back. What a long day I think. Rage. When we lost stopped the keys. at. Uh, oh, you lost the key. Yeah, when we the stopped at Long Boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good job, Mikey. Oh, oh that's cold. <laughs> Woo!